Hello class. All right, this is your introductory on the Leica DM500 microscope and how to turn it on and the basics of getting everything going. And then later I'll step onto the computer zoom and show you how to run the software. So the basic gist is there's two of these machines. There's this one and then there's another one over there. They're basically similar. This computer might be slightly different than that one but the software will be the same. The power is right up here on the top and it's already on. Got your monitor here going. Okay, so you should be able to just go straight into student and sign in. This will come up. And then the microscope itself, you should be wearing a mask, but I need to explain it. So the microscope itself is the DM500 is the base here. You're going to turn it on down here. That's for the regular bright field. And you've got the LED light here. You've got a condenser down at the bottom here. It's a dial. And you, all the way, one direction is for 4X here. Okay, and you turn the turnstile with this. This is 4X red, 10X yellow. 40x blue. So let's go back to 4x and then you can make this down here and if you look down here you can see 4x, 10x, and 40x for the uh, condenser. Okay so I'm going to turn it on here. This light's a little tricky. Basically you need it low but it's a little washy when it's low so just bear with it and use the software to help compensate if you don't like the light. Light Condenser, stage, stage moves left and right here. It's an upright scope, so samples go facing up. And then oculars and the camera, the camera goes the whole time. You don't ever need to have a slider for the camera. And then you've got a fluorescence bulb here, and this is the slider for fluorescence, okay? The middle is bright field and UV. The left is going to be green illumination or blue light green emission and then the far right is going to be green excitation red emission okay and then the bulb for the fluorescence is right here so i'm going to go ahead and turn on the power and then you have to write down in the book the number so you write down your date, your name, and then the numbers here of starting and stopping. Okay. That's the layout basics of it. And then you start LASX software. And that might take a little bit to go to get going, but you just start it up. You hit OK if it gives you a menu prompt of what hardware setting do you want. You say keep the one and go ahead like here. It says it's going to go anyway if you don't do anything in 10 seconds, but then I hit OK. Loads up. And now I'm going to jump on to the software and show you what to do. Welcome to class.